Hey everybody, I was recently asked, isn't FedNow going to be susceptible to a lot of fraud? And that question came about because somebody was asking about how Zelle's had a lot of fraud. In fact, there's a big lawsuit that was announced in the past couple of weeks over fraud happening with Zelle. And I told those people, let me tell you, when it comes to FedNow, there's a lot that's being done by the Federal Reserve, by the FedNow team to help ensure that we manage the fraud. I did not say there'd be no fraud because I don't know a payment channel that's immune to fraud. But the reality is within the FedNow service, there are built-in controls. There is the negative list. It is a wonderful tool that allows financial institutions to use as part of the service for being able to block certain transactions. Works a lot like a negative checklist if you've ever worked with it where you block checks before. There's also the account activity details, which allows you to be able to have special monitoring for certain types of transactions, especially over the velocity, the amounts as well. And oh, well, you also get to sell amount limits too. So setting those amount limits, having these built-in controls, and there's actually much more than that too. There's requirements for reporting fraud that are within the service that everybody has to adhere to. So when it comes to managing fraud in FedNow, well, the famous professor is going to tell you, there is a lot of controls built into the system, and you can put a bow tie on that. For now, class dismissed.